After logging over double digit hours now playing with Nico Minaru, I can safely say she is the most fun I've ever had playing with a new card release in Marvel Snap. The flexibility that all of her spells give with all of these varying abilities make the gameplay very dynamic and offer you a lot of really interesting choices at different points over the course of the game. And she slots quite easily into what is my favorite deck that I also think has been quite powerful for some time now, the Darkhawk Bounce deck. Reactivating Nico once is great, using her multiple times over the course of the game thanks to Falcon and Beast bouncing her back to my hand is even better. This deck looks to set up a bunch of cheap disruptive cards that we play repeatedly such as Korg to put rocks in our deck and Black Widow to deny our opponent draws, both of whom make it so our primary stat stick Darkhawk can be extra large when we play him down at the end of the game. We also have Hood, whose body is excellent to either destroy to draw cards with Nico or turn into a demon himself, who makes us a demon, as well as Forge, who can pump lots of things up. Obviously, current Marvel Snap format all-star Elsa works excellently with cards going in and out of play in this deck as well, and it's just a total blast. Lots of the endgame turns feels like these complicated puzzles that really reward you for getting all the ins and outs right. I think today's game highlights are going to highlight not only the strength of this deck, but Nico go Minaru inside of it and all the complexities that go along with it. If you do enjoy what you see, snap that like button for the rest of the day. Have fun. This year this year, this year, this year, this here, this year. And then Nico gets fucking huge, right? Now this, this is pod racing chat. Yep. I could destroy Shuri's lab. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. Victory. Oh, you know what? I should probably... <clears throat> I should probably uh, go play Conquest. The latter's at a stark lack of variety. Comps app needs a balance patch real bad. Or an OTA update we're gonna get tomorrow. Do I wanna prioritize getting her good spell or do I wanna prioritize being energy efficient here? I think I just wanna be energy efficient. I'm just gonna Black Widow them. Obviously, Black Widow doesn't cut them off of any board space because there's a Death's Domain. You get two power and you get two power. Everybody gets two power.
Whenever you're torn between getting two different cards and spotlight caches, my piece of advice would always be tie break whichever card, um, whichever spotlight cache has more cards you're missing. Do I want to be able to compete in Death's Domain? Is Death's Domain being turned off good or bad for us? I'm actually not sure. Well, that's interesting. I would have thought the Bast was going to die there, but it didn't. So I'm less likely to have priority. I don't know. I'm running. I'm running out of. I'm running out of time. I want to do. I want to do this. I don't know. It could be right to deploy Hood somewhere to like try not to have priority here. Oh. Oh, I missed that. Oh, that was a you're gonna kill monger me snap. Okay, sure, gamer. I missed that I'm gonna not have draw Chavez now, though. Oh, it's also a their Mobius thing snap. But that's also not a big deal. Absolutely not in. Just uh, getting to copy uh, Eight Power Angela as a second threat. Kind of sick. My God, she clones fucking Elsa chat. Holy shit. She clones Elsa. Oh, she does it all. Why does she do so much stuff? Oh, that, that, it just, yeah, 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 yeah. Cubes, cubes. Our best draw next turn is Falcon, so we can go second Elsa into Falcon, bounce these three. This Twitch stream is pre-recorded in front of a live studio audience. Cue the laugh track. <sighs> Do I do this into this? I guess this is better. And then I could go Beast Angela Korg in the middle on the last turn. Hawk plays around a lion. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I like this. This is better. It means the Hawk is three smaller, but also like their deck has 10 cards in it. So like, that's fine. Mother of God. Well, alrighty then. Oh no, my Hawk is shrinking. Shit. Well. Uh, I'm gonna play the Korg here just in case they alieth me middle. Cause this will give me 17 left.
They also they also have unlimited power here, is not where they? Got him right. Yeah, sick game. <laughs> Down to the breaker, and we beat the Thanos power up on the breaker. Sick. Like my stream took off in large part due to factors that were outside of my control. Let's see, it is super solid. That's after you play your next card, add a copy of it. Yeah, I want second Elsa, right? Just always. This makes our curve a little bit awkward, but second Elsa is real, real good. Power Falcon, no big. Fine, what if I do this and just give up on Stark Tower? I think I'm gonna do it. I guess having a 10 power beast is bad into Shang-Chi. All systems go. Wait, I can play around a Lyth right? I just already have a bunch of points here. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Jeff has moved, yeah. Oh, I didn't think about the Selk. Okay, never mind. We're lucky. <laughs> there were there were permutations of this. I could have I could have lost to the Selk ending up, right? Oh, that's interesting and not what I expected. Nico's demon removes all bonuses. Uh, it's tough sledding, gamers. It's tough sledding. Fun fact, chat. Nico can let us change deep space. I think I'm just playing Elsa to the unknown. I don't know that I want to make a copy of either of these. Copy of Beast might be hot. It'll be a copy of six power beast too. If he if he lives. Oh, they have Iron Fist. Oh, they're a straight up move deck. Interesting.
so <clears throat> I know that this will bast the demon, but it also bast the hood, and the hood currently costs me zero. Yeah, I think, I think this is the line. Passing the hood is better than not passing the demon, yeah. Yeah, I just need to call out that I'm doing this intentionally, because otherwise Twitch chat's gonna like roll their their face across their keyboard screaming order at me. Just super rewarded for my choices, huh? So I'll put this here and I'll put this here. This is actually, actually this. Victory. This forge demon at the end better. Well, this is deep space, so forge doesn't do anything there. Or Man, I, I hadn't even noticed I mostly have been focused on the gameplay and stuff today, but 14 subs off of 3,200 concurrent subscribers. Ooh, what can I do? I wish uh, it showed me the icon for my opponent's Nikos. Would be, would be nice. They got the good one. The destroy draw two is real, real good. Yep. Most assuredly a Phoenix Force Gamer. Looking for any one drop here. That'll do, Pig. I don't know that I can snap them back if they have a good Phoenix Force draw here, which is likely. The Dark Hawk gets bigger off the mines, though. The, the hard part here is I um, I can't really play into Sanctum well with my deck is problematic. Yeah, really, really silly game for us so far. There's the, there's the Phoenix Force. Dude, 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 dude. Says, and then we could get screwed on the Grand Central, I guess, but I think I think we're fine most of the time. Oh my God, they played into Vibranium Mines again. You had me at the third, dude. <laughs> Thanks, I tried. Dude, we do have to win. Grand Central and the Mines here because of Sanctum Sanctorum is, is noteworthy. We want, we just want not Hood into Grand Central. Hawk, well that, that gives away, that gives away the the game plan, but I think that's still fine. Yep. Uh, 19? Yeah. Victory. What a sick game again. No Nico that game, but sick game. Snap one into two in the Abbey. For that any Nico Darkhawk bounce. Nah, I'm not sure I'm gonna play any Nico Darkhawk bounce. Probably not worthwhile. Ooh, getting their Killmonger out of the way right now is, uh, 
is good. I mean, their draw, their draw start here is good too, but not having to play around that as we head into the late game is phenomenal if our draw comes together here. You know what's not phenomenal? That Nico spell. I'm actually going to put Elsa over here so that way I can potentially beast this Black Widow path. I'm having turn three Lady Death Strike is unfortunate. Need a, need a beast or a falcon next turn, chat. And there's only there's only three cards in our deck we can draw, and two of them are beast and falcon. <laughs> so here's open. They have 12 power Deadpool in their hand currently. Play your next card, double this card's power. Okay, so I want to go Forge into Nico into Beast. I don't I don't want to Loki my hand. I'm not gonna have a window to play Loki on. I'm gonna play him here. Yeah, let's do let's do this. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a 10 power Nico in my hand, right? Ooh, I think I think Nico landing on Forge there was actually our best possible, right? I guess I want to get more um, Elsa bonuses though. This is probably good. We could lose like an Arnim Zola flip, I guess, but this beats like a Null. Null plus Death could get us, I suppose. Or just leave in, sure. Victory. That's all. Snap the like button if you'd be so kind and check back in again tomorrow for another highlight.